So for the past a couple of GFS model runs, I have been noticing a trend. This trend is forecasting that a potential tropical system might form and impact Georgia. So this is going to be what this forecast is going to be about. So good day guys and welcome to this hurricane season forecast or not a hurricane season forecast but a potential prediction which could come true within the shorter term. So I have been noticing a trend on the GFS models. Recently, the model has been in the case in that we might see a potential tropical system form and impact South Carolina or Georgia or maybe even portions of Florida. So, just to put this into perspective and be specific, there is currently a 999 millibar low which is bringing severe weather towards portions of Virginia and this is eventually going to move off course. I think as of now, when this system moves off course, it seems that the climate could be favorable to produce a tropical system or a subtropical system. So either if the system is subtropical or not, we'll still need to pay attention to it. So this model forecast is for May 6 at 6 p.m. This is the 18Z run. So as we begin to run the GFS model, we could clearly notice that our system moves off course. As our system moves off course, you can see it starts to rotate instantly as it moves off course, which is pretty normal. But there is a twist. As this system continues to rotate off course, this eventually becomes a 9, a 1007 millibar system. Now at this point, it's not really a concern. You can see a 1007 millibar system is lingering just off course of North and South Carolina. Now, this system is moving due towards the west which then the problem comes in so as you can see this system is moving towards the east coast which isn't good so as we continue to run this gfs model run you can see that our system continues to get more defined at one point our system is all the way up into northern portions of florida so as this system lingers off coast of Florida, it could be encountering some favorable weather conditions. Now this is when things get mainly interesting or should I say concerning. So if this system does react like that, then you're going to get some swells into Florida and also portions of the east coast. This system is not that strong, but it could still affect the rip current risk. As we continue to run the GFS model run, we could see that our system takes an even more sudden dip. And at this point, our system is still. So let's once again begin to run the models. As we get farther out into the model forecast, we could see that our system begins to gain some subtropical characteristics with it. You could see a large area of moisture and it also got that, you know, tropical look towards it. Some very intense moisture is placed just towards the northwest of the system. So we would begin to pay attention to the system. Be minded that this is on May 13th, which is about 1,068 hours out. At this point, our system is about to impact Georgia. As we get farther out into the model forecast, we can see that our system strengthens into a 1,005 millibar tropical system. And you can see a very deep inflow into the system, even farther out. You can see it's bringing in moisture into portions of North Carolina and also South Carolina. So this is fairly a large area of rotation. 
but within that it seems that there might be a closed off loan so you can see this is a tropical system subtropical more than likely but as we get later into the forecast we could see that this system impacts portions of georgia as a 1007 millibar system whether or not this happens which it's more than likely going to this is showing that the tropical systems could be beginning to form very soon this is by may 14 currently it's may the 6th on point we may have about eight days or so so those all upon the east coast i would say to not let your guards down within the coming days especially those in georgia north carolina south carolina because this is showing very serious threats maybe even a tropical storm or a subtropical storm winds maybe up to 50 miles per hour maybe up to you know 45 miles per hour generally but we need to continue to monitor this system flooding will be on play maybe even some potential storm surge well not very significant storm surge but maybe some inflow which could be coming on shore or some onshore flow so we need to continue to monitor this threat now let's go towards the velocity so this is the velocity and this is 162 hours out you can see the rotation wide not really closed off yet but we're going to see what happens to the system as we get later into the model forecast as we get later into the forecast we could see that our rotation really get itself together which is probably convincing enough to become a subtropical storm you could see rotation very tight and also our system is about to impact georgia as this system lingers off course of georgia we get a very tight vorticity signature with this system very tropical like subtropical like system looking possible here within the next seven days i'm going to continue to monitor this trend because this is 100 percent definitely concerning and we need to begin to get prepared for this and continue to monitor the model trends thanks for watching this forecast and as always peace out